Now let's look into the type of IPv4 addresses. There are two main types of IPv4 addresses. One is a public IPv4 address and the other is a private IPv4 address. The private IPv4 address cannot be routable on the internet, which means that this private IP address is cannot be reached over the internet. So as you can see from the slide, so there are, these are multiple networks, so three networks, and all of them are connected to, uh, you know, their particular ISPs, and they have a private, uh, you know, IP addresses assigned to host. So, so any communication that is basically coming out from these private IP addresses, they cannot be routed beyond the ISP domain. And then there is this uh, another IP address, which is the public IP address. Public IP addresses are basically routed on the internet. And, you, and they are accessible uh, anywhere in the world. Other than the private and the public IP, IPv4 addresses, uh, we have some uh, special uh, or I would say reserved IPv4 addresses. Uh, and, uh, you know, one such reserved IPv4 address is a loopback address. It is very, uh, you know, a well-known address, 127.0.0.1. And this address is basically used uh, to uh, basically, you know, uh, route the traffic uh, to, you know, the, the machine itself. So it's, it's, it's also called a local uh, host address. And it is used for uh, basically, you know, to test the, uh, the TCP IP stack in, you know, in the operating system of your machine. And then the other type is the link uh, local uh, address. And this is also, uh, you know, reserved. And there is this, you know, a range of addresses, uh, which are link local addresses. And the, you know, hosts are automatically assigned these link local addresses, um, you know, in situations when, uh, you know, a host cannot, uh, you know, get an IP address configured on, its, on itself or when a host is basically unable to uh, get the IP address from a DHCP server. So then, you know, the, the OS is basically automatically assigned a link local address to this machine and all the communication, you know, uh, uh, via this link local uh, address cannot go through or beyond the, the network on which the machine is basically, you know, located. The third type of addresses which are reserved is test net addresses. These are for teaching, uh, you know, purposes, and they are also reserved for uh, for for communication only or or teaching uh, teaching purpose. So as you can see on the slide, this uh, link local address, uh, you know, 169.254.0.0/16 .0 can only communicate within the local LAN. And the same applies for the test net address, which is 192.0.2.0 slash 24. So they cannot be routed over the internet. And then we have the legacy uh, classful addresses. So we have the class A address uh, and which the, you know, slash 8, which means the network part has basically 8 bits. So you have 24 bits for the host uh, portion. And then we have the class B addresses. Class C addresses, you know, uh, Class B has 16 bits, uh, at, 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 and, you know, in the network portion. Class C has 24 bits in the network portion. And uh, these are the range of, uh, you know, Class A, B, and C addresses. Then we have the multicast addresses. Also, these are reserved addresses. Multicast, and these are the range of the multicast addresses, starting from 224, ending in 239. And then we had the experimental addresses, which are again reserved for future use. And they start from 240.0.0.0 all the way to 255.255.255.254. So who assigns the IP addresses? Uh, there is a, a body, uh, IANA, Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, that basically you know, manages the allocation of IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. And uh, these uh, IPv4 and v6 address space basically are allocated uh, to different registries. And these registries or registration companies are called Regional Internet Registries, RIR. And IANA has basically divided this into five regions. Um, as you can see uh, on the left uh, most side of the slide, 
this the first one is the Arin, which is the North America region. And then we have the RIPE, which is Europe, which covers the Europe, the Middle East, and the Central Asia. And then we have the APNIC, Asia and Pacific region, and AFRINIC, which basically covers the African region, and then the LACNIC, which basically covers the Latin America and some Caribbean islands. So we basically uh, discuss uh, the, you know, the different types of uh, IPv4 addresses, particularly the private and the public IPv4 addresses. And then we also talked about, you know, the body or the, or the organization that basically assigns the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses.